Alrighty, today we are talking about compound inequalities. A com compound inequality means there's more than one. For instance, a number A is fewer than negative six, or A is no less than, so it means it's bigger than, or equal to, so it's no less than negative three. This is a compound inequality because it has two different things and an or. If we were to graph this, it would be, here's our negative three, here's our negative six. So open circle at the negative six and getting smaller, whereas this one, is going to be a closed circle at the negative three and getting bigger. Two very different scenarios, okay? This is when it is or, they go opposite directions, okay? An and would look something like this. A number x is more than We'll say negative one and less than five. Okay, now if we were to graph this one, we have negative one, five would be about out here. So X is bigger than or equal. So we're gonna use a closed circle. Okay, and then X at five is not equal to it, okay? It's smaller than, but it's smaller than, and it, inner, it goes together. So we can actually see that X is between negative one and five. So X is smaller than five, but bigger than, and because it's closed, equal to negative one. This is an and because they both agree. And the key word here is if you're an and, you must agree, okay? Whereas or, it was either, either or. And they did not agree, okay? So that is what we're looking at in this lesson. So some examples are this. All right, let us look at this one here. Mm, we're gonna use okay, negative three less than two X minus five less than seven. Okay, so when we do this one, we're gonna break it into two pieces. So negative three is less than two X minus five. That is one piece. And then we have the two X minus five is less than seven. Okay, so that's the other piece. Alrighty. We're going to go ahead and solve like we have done before. So add five to both sides. That gives us two X is less than two, divide by two. And we get X is bigger than one, okay? Over here, we're gonna solve like we normally do. So we're gonna add five to both sides. Two X is less than seven plus five is 12. And we're gonna divide both sides by two and X is less than six, okay? Now, let's take a look at it because I think it's much easier to see it on the graph than just kind of imagine. So here's zero, here would be our negative sign. So this is one. I know I have an open circle at one. And then here's six, I have an open circle at six. Well, my X is on the smaller side of the six, so that's going this direction. And here my X is in the bigger side of one. So we can see that they're agreeing on this. So this is an and equation. And because it's written that way, it's an and one. So our answer is X is between six and one, they're both open circles, so it's just gonna look like that, okay? And 
And let's look at one more. Um, we are going to try, let me find a problem. Okay, let's see here. I think, yes, let's do this one. So 2P, actually let's stick with our X's, I like them better. So 2X plus one is less than negative seven or three minus two P is less than or equal to negative one. And again, I want my X's, okay? So this is the problem we're looking at now, All right? Same thing, solve like normal. Subtract one from both sides, two X less than, now negative seven and negative one is negative eight. Divide both sides by the positive two, X is less than negative four. On the other side, we're gonna subtract three from both sides. That gives me negative two X is less than or equal to negative one minus three is negative four. Now I need my X alone, so I'm gonna divide by the negative two. Uh-oh, star of the problem, because we need to flip our sign. Negative twos go away, we have X. Negative divided by negative is positive, and four divided by two is two, okay? So we're gonna graph this. So here's zero, here would be two, negative four would be down here. X is smaller than negative four, it's not equal to, but okay, so it looks like that. And then X is equal to two and bigger than two. And we can see that that is an or because they're not agreeing on anything, okay? So those are compound inequalities, just means that you're working two different problems, even though we're calling it the same problem.